Hi everyone. So we, today we will take into account velocity displacement relation. What is velocity displacement relation? What do you understand by that? Again, the assumption is uniformly accelerated motion. So velocity is what? This is again V average. What is this? Average velocity. What it will become? V plus U by 2 it is equal to x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1. Again, I told you that x1 is the initial location, x2 is the final location. x1 is the initial, t1 is the initial time and t2 is the final time. This you already know, v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity. So if it t1 is equal to 0, we can put t2 minus t1 is equal to t, let us say t2 is equal to t. And x2 minus x1 can be written as s. So it becomes s upon t. Now from v is equal to u plus at, we have t is equal to v minus u upon a. Now, substituting it in this, we get S is equal to V plus U by 2 whole multiplied by V minus U by 2 A which becomes V square minus U square divided by 2 A. How we got this V square minus U square? A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square as simple as that. So, S is equal to V square minus U square upon 2A implies V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. This is the third equation of motion. Simple derivation. Let us go with graphical method. Again the same graph. Initial velocity u, velocity time relation. Point D. A, B, V final velocity, T time, okay. So here we get what? Again, A is equal to CB upon AB is equal to CB upon OD is equal to what? V minus U upon T. Right? What we have from the other side? This is one equation we got regarding A. Or we can write it in other way, T is equal to V minus U upon A and now this T is equal to what? OD. So we have S is equal to area of this trapezium. This again. We have S is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by OA plus DC multiplied by 
OD. Why? This is the area of trapezium. We just are changing the formula, nothing like that. We can also write it like a half of the triangle, uh, half uh, the area of the triangle plus area of the rectangle, nothing will change. We are writing it in this way. What will happen? Half multiplied by, what is OA? U. What is DC? V. Multiplied by what is OD? V minus U upon A. It becomes V square minus U square upon 2A implies V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. This is how we derive. Let us go with calculus method. Again we have A is equal to DV upon DT. We get ADT is equal to DV. But we want to find out distance between velocity and displacement. So we will find we will try to eliminate this one dt how we can do that we can write dv by dt is equal to dv by dx multiplied by dx by dt this is equal to what v and it becomes v dv upon dx implies a dx is equal to v dv why we did it we just wanted to eliminate t because we want the uh, relation between velocity and displacement and time has to be eliminated for that. So, integrating both sides again, we get A it becomes A S 0 to S on solving it will become this v square by 2 u to v implies a s is equal to v square minus u square by 2 implies v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s. Hence we find that all three equations can be found out in more than one way. You just have to remember the concept. No need to cram how we derive these particular equation. Let us take one example. An object, there is a building of height h. You are standing here. You drop an object from here. It falls here. h height is given. Let us say it is 100 meter. You dropped an object here. You have to find out the final velocity here. How will you find out? H is nothing but displacement here. A is what here? Acceleration due to gravity. Approximate 10 meter per second square to be accurate 9.8 meter per second. So we will cover it in consecutive chapters, it's not a problem. So this is how you will be getting the further uh, equation. Now g is equal to 10, s is equal to 100, u is equal to 0. Why? You dropped it from here. There was no initial velocity. You didn't throw it. You just dropped it. So u was 0. What will be v? v square is equal to u square plus 2as is equal to 0 square plus 2 multiplied by g that is 10 multiplied by s that is 100 it is equal to 2000 meter per second square under the root sorry implies 
V is equal to under the root 2000. Approximately it will come up to how much? 2000 divided by approximately you can put like this it will become 1.414 thousand ten under root ten that approximately you will get how much 0.1 